in 2020, Raymond was re-diagnosed with cancer. He had been in remission for 10 years, a head and neck cancer. And suddenly here it was back and Raymond had it in the throat this time, near the larynx. It was inoperable. So we were in the battle of his life, trying to keep him alive. The treatments were limited. We were just so busy, not just the emotional load and all that, but financial. Here we were on the road all the time, trying to get to oncologist offices, this and that, you know. And finally, one of my nieces approached us and told us about this grant that Coastal Electric was offering. I was just so busy, I didn't have time to do this. So after a lot of ins us insisting that we did it, I went ahead and filled out the forms and submitted them. And um, we got the grant. I was absolutely floored because we have never had that kind of an opportunity before. It was a financial assistance, hardship assistance that this company did um, offer to us. It was several thousand dollars. And um, because they offered it to the public or to members of Coastal, I was able to pay our light bill for about a year through that grant. Paid our county taxes, you know, whatever we needed. But I chose to keep it within Coastal because they had been so good to us, just give them the money back, you know. Well, it was very satisfying to know that this huge utility company had that kind of concern and care about their members, that they wanted to help them out. A cooperative would be those joining together to have a service for one, for the community, or um, just to provide for others. But they're all working together, helping each other. Just I want to say thank you so much to the entire co-op here, the staff, um, as well as the entire entity that it cared enough to help us out when we did need the help. Um, that could never be matched anywhere. I'd never had that happen before. So it humbled me, yes. But it gave Raymond something to hang on to. Yes. I am the co-op. I am Coastal Electric Cooperative.